Hello, welcome back to this log that I'm doing here now. It's day 150 as of time of this recording on this world. Don't know what the actual genealogical time will be. As you can see, I've messed around quite a bit with... Um, I've messed around quite a bit with... Um, this machine here, and it's coming along nicely. And yes, I've got most of the components and should be able to test it any day now. Just waiting for the correct time. It doesn't feel right, just to straight up test it. Alright. But, oh wait, I found a visitor. Uh, anyone? What fuck was that? Uh, came from outside. Oh, that is not my shotgun. Forgot. My shotgun is. Yes. Oh, snake. Okay. That's a pretty bassy. That's a list. Not bassy. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> okay then. That's a problem, I think so. You get them stuck four or five times, and nobody oh, ever lets you forget that. about it. I was been. I think you liked that comment. I've been keeping an eye out for a snake of my own. Just haven't been able to find any decent ones. Johnny, yeah, apologize to the nice snake. Thank you. Oh, hey. Silver glow tail. Get back up here. <laughs> A bit of an interruption here. What have your, you and your company been up to? Anything interesting? Hey. What's that? Um. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. to treat people for uh, burns in their lungs for inhaling that gas before. Not fun. You might want to apologize. And how did you put that on so quickly? Tell the lizard he's pretty. Snake. Sorry, not lizard. Just need to grab myself a drink, and apparently that is one of the Grey Company. They live nearby. They seem to be a pretty powerful faction.
Yeah, if I remember, mine was fucking ugly. Uh, an orange. That's understandable. You're not obsessed with fond of us, either. <laughs> I don't think they're fond again. of anything except food. But the snakes are typically quite sweet when you tame them. At least for one time. One who stole cakes and cookies. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, ours weren't bad temperament. That really think about it. Once we had them, just uh. The one I had didn't like me controlling it very well, so it didn't ever want to listen. And then we got stuck. Is friends with a man who claims to have a Really? It was Wonder from where? Black with red stripes. He called it Meridia. Oh, right, oh. right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, nope, nope, that makes... That makes sense now. That makes sense now. What does that mean? Those megas are exceptionally loud today. Yes, you. <laughs> now it's a competition, now isn't it? Now she's just being rude. Now she's just being rude. All the same. The man was... Well, he was one of a kind, as far as I remember him. I was very young when last I saw him. I don't know where any of you are in Meridia. Indeed. Oh? He was. Quite a few years ago. Well, a large man. The largest I've ever seen. Oh. Seven foot four, perhaps? <laughs> That sounds like Talus. That's it. Interesting character. He's a hero to our nation. Perhaps alongside our several teams in the chance of battle. Oh! Gosh, quakes. So you know. Yes. A bit. Spent some time in the same group on Meridia. From what I remember, a decent person. Well, the, well, the biggest thing you remember is the size. And strength and his damn snake. <laughs> Which is. You said it stole sweets. Yes. And it also stole about everything else. Meaning you could carry literally entire bases away with it. Probably the one Caligar. creature stronger than Talos himself. <laughs> Once we had to move a, uh, a bench in our home. Now, keep in mind that Eritrean benches are carved out of solid stone. And he picked it up with one hand over his shoulder. And that's the way it Yes. Interesting. Well, wasn't expecting the leader of a great company to appear here today. Just for those the rest of you interested, my uh, speakers on my helmet miserable. are muted currently, so <laughs> they cannot hear me. You do not want to stay on, do you? Ah, uh, just backache. 
swollen ankle. Have to pee every five damn minutes. I am rather. Well, they just reduce the body of all my the arrows and my filters. Pretty if this place can be. Okay. Not this much. I miss my theories. And my griffin. I hope Alpha Potato's okay. Mm. What? My griffin! Alpha Potato. Interesting. It was the best potato. damn potato ever. And potato is what? And Another root for Savo Root. Oh, okay. We didn't have those at home either, but we had an offshoot variant. Oh? We called them bleak root. Uh, ah. White. Lack of sunlight. Oh. This whole group. I wonder if they still have the same nutrient content. I'm not sure. The deepscapers grew them in the underfields. They still do. Neat. Sure. I didn't know you could grow plants underground without sunlight. Well, then I guess if it was adapted to it, you could. And you have never seen the light of the 10,000 mirrors. Can grow anything like that. Have not. I do have to say, these guys are more affectionate than the ones we had back home. <laughs> They're more alert. Much more alert. Oh, well. Speaking of back home, how's your machine going, Bean? Oh, um, progress is going well. It's almost ready for testing. Uh, I would say. Um, let know when you're doing it so I can be far away from the clinic. <laughs> I mean, it should be safe. I don't should see Should be anything. and will be. Yes. Uh, I wouldn't Jackie, stand right Jackie, if you get teleported home, home without me, I will shoot you. I wasn't intending a teleportation home first. Obviously, that would be foolish. Was more intending to isolate a spot oh. and attempting to isolate a creature from home. Ah, to bring okay, it here. Great. Working, working your way up to it. Exactly. What were you attempting to bring? No, I'm not sure really. Very? Anything you can. So, essentially, anything that'll allow me to bring. Maybe a specific creature, if I'm able to focus in close enough. If you have any requests. Riley. Jackie. <laughs> Having pumpkin back would be great. Or my cyan theory. We can throw a carrot, just destroy the whole place. I'd rather not destroy the whole place while we're still living in it, or Isn't really ever. Fun? Yes, that sounds like a good that idea. That told you of those creatures, right? Yeah, the one that was big enough for a guy to camp on it, and the thing not even notice. Yes, moving mountains. Let's not destroy an entire ecosystem just because we leave. It's yeah. Well, got it's well into its process. Or even better, process. That doesn't mean that other people can't appreciate it, or that it doesn't have its value. This place looks I'd like it here. very nice. Though, I wouldn't want to live here long term, with no way out. I would. No what? I mostly wouldn't want like? to live here because the obelisk fuck scare the, the fuck out of me. Yeah, the sickly ones. I don't think I got this skin color without 
but actually seeing the sun, did you? <laughs> hmm. No. I prefer to have an open sky above me. I have looked upon the sun twice in my life. Hmm. And I would keep it that way. That works. Every time I step out of the cave, I feel like I'm going to fall up into the endless expanse of the sky. There's nothing above my head. It feels wrong. That's okay. I don't like looking up and having something above my feeling. It makes me feel like it's going to collapse and bury me alive. So. Oh, never. Stonework. Well, the earthquakes aren't making <laughs> it much more reassuring. Again, the I have seen... done anything in a hundred years, and they won't now. Oh, are you from here? No. But according to the children, it has been a long time. Ah, okay. The, uh... Sparrow children? and Fox. Mm. Not sure if I'm familiar. I don't know those children. Yeah, The two tribal kids who walk about the place talking about the Discord. Oh, well. Oh! Guys. Have they lived here? I do not know. Because when I talked to them, they had been talked about being held captive by some scientists. Wait. Really didn't there... like it when I mentioned the clinic. Wait, the scientists. Was this by any chance for Doctors. people that we followed here? The Acolytes Maybe. machine. I haven't had a chance to talk to them. Uh, anytime they see me, they run the other way. They found out I was a doctor and went nothing to do with me. Interesting, yes. Likely I'm they won't enough with me. Them. Here. I saved them once upon a time. <laughs> they saved Plunge the my blade girl through the shell of the Didicurus. <sighs> that was trying to knock them off the cliff. Maybe you could, or you can. But, yeah. Well, uh, the one did yeah. say they would talk to me about their experience with the obelisk. They were actually able to talk to it. It almost drove the girl mad, though. I've never spoken to one. I would keep it that way. Such things were not meant for us to disturb. They're not very chatty. It's more of a one-way communication. No. And it's more feelings than actual... Exactly. Words, unless they really want Not you to much know something. going on there. <laughs> the dancing lights were nice. You want, like, fireflies? No. Motes of light. So that's all around you right now. No, these were different colors. And a little bigger. And they kind of hummed. And I'm pretty sure from the feelings and the, wor the few words we got, they are fucking sick of us killing each other. Oh, yes. That, that message was clear. <laughs> Loud and clear. What about that? They're tired of killing in them, around them, for them. I'm getting creatures as well as people. They attacked us, it's not the same thing. They were spilling blood to try and get the power from the obelisks. We spilled it to, you know, keep ourselves from dying? Or also to keep them from fucking with the obelisks anymore. Exactly. Ah, uh, just disappointed I never got to fire off that cannon. <laughs> it would have been glorious to see. Keen built a giant fuck you gun. Actually, it's more like a fuck everything gun. Exactly.
Then again, after a message from me, this just likely wouldn't have been very smart to use. No, no, it's probably better if we dismantle it when we get home. I mean, uh, oh shit, I hope I turned off the, um, I hope my boat is still there when we get back and hasn't driven off home yet. Can it drive itself? Um, roughly, but very accurately. <laughs> there might be a hole in the reefs nearby. Oh, fuck, yeah. Uh, I don't know if we've had a chance to tell you, Fiend. But, um... Yeah. Well, it's only been a few months for us, it's been over a year for her. Excuse me? What? Yeah. Uh, Jay oh, and Duo's child? Sake. Yeah. Wait, what? Not their baby, the one they adopted before Jaden got pregnant. Oh, Who's for that? fuck's sake, time dilation, Matt, not that shit again. I'll just stick to soldier. It's when time moves <laughs> faster back home than here. Meaning that if one month goes by here, one year goes by back home. Pretty much, yeah, so... Yep. Yeah. And again, I don't know how it works to relative to Earth. Because... Uh, you... They've all been pulled from across the entire history, seemingly. So, no clue. Yeah, that's right, why the... I'm just going to pretend that made sense. <laughs> um, the way I like to think of it is... Nope. It's that complicated. Works. Too complicated. But, from what I've heard, that's why they can't just send the pe Earth people home. Some, some Something about a time parody? Believe. Paradox. Yes. Yeah. Paradox. Parody, paradox. You know. Gets all fucky. No, it would make sense if, um,. One of the people from uh, old, from the olden age in, on Earth, gets sent back with knowledges of, say, a shotgun, or electricity. That would yeah. really mess with the timeline, wouldn't it? Now. Not that I know much about their timeline in the first place. So what worries me is if there is this time dilation. We are not on Sayel anymore, are we? For sure, uh, it, maybe. It's possible. We could be in a area that's just being. Fucked we could with still be. By the the oh, the broken. obelisks. I could be responsible for it. That would make sense. Tenebris. Well, it's not that easy to explore Sayel exactly. Lots of ti lots of islands, and the best transportation methods we've got is flying pteranodons, quetzals, and occasional motorboats. Oh, there are there ships. Yes, but they're not exactly the fastest, now are they? They don't need to be when they're the size of a boat. Hmm. Have you ever seen a Titanosaurus? You don't need to be fast when you are a walking mountain. <laughs> the name rings a bell. Can't exactly recall if I've seen one before. 
I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing since it's Titan is in the world, it's huge. They're dinosaurs, of course you've seen them. They live on Sire, they're just rare. I've only been to two islands on Sayel. I don't remember ever seeing right. one of those. A Bronto times eight. Oh, that well, actually does ring a bell. I believe I read about it okay, in the then. archives before. We don't... We, we... We find one, we can get one. <laughs> they don't... They don't need to tranquilize it. And here we go again. Why do eggs fall from a ceiling anyway? That literally makes no sense. I had, don't don't tell. I had I don't one know. lady tell me it's a giant pink mushroom at the center of the world called Tim. What? Giant pink mushroom at the center of the world called Tim. Okay, I'm just gonna say it's the great Lord Tim provides. Us. Better put the anti egg helmet on. Uh, yes. Why do you think I even wear a helmet here? I would stand under him, but I keep taking it. Certainly loose. not to protect me. It's the eggs. Why do you think she's dead? Yeah. Could just be. That was a fast one. She could just be asleep. Speaking of that, my papa's here. And the pee fell asleep. Oh. Yep. Marcus fucking Eastwood. No, I don't think you got that quite right. Sorry. Marcus fucking Eastwood. That better? I was about to say it. Marcus fucking Eastwood. <laughs> yes, I've heard him before. At least I've heard of him. Tell us did a very good impression. Papa is a legend unto himself. At least he thinks he is. <laughs> Sorry, I never quite yeah, happened. He he never, I didn't quite catch that. What happened to Talos in the end? Well, he's on yeah, the Papa. somewhere. Oh, he's still good. Just he check it. Turns up every now and again. Hair hasn't gotten any wider, at least. Hmm. Mustache is just more impressive than ever. But yeah, he just showed up uh, two weeks ago. Three weeks ago? I lost track. And he was already high on mushrooms. It seems this armor recording will be quite a bit longer. Well, now that I know of the time dilation, I'll see if I can't speed up the process, if if it works. That might help your portal. Exactly. I mean, it'll make it more difficult. if you don't synchronize, it's going exactly. to rebound. Yeah, it'll don't actually... Don't ask how I know that. I've been... Talking to Rickman far too much. Hmm. Yeah, time would definitely mess with the uh, calculations needed to get back home. If Jade can give you a more accurate date of how long we've been gone, she's spoken to her more. Oh yes, I definitely need to talk to her then. Uh, black hole? Uh, what's a black hole? I mean... Aren't they usually black if they're deep enough? That sounds like a technical term for something. Very well. What, like the black pit? It's a place in the foundations, a bottomless hole. It supposedly leads to the center of the planet. Nobody Nobody's ever been down there. An aura of pure dread emanates from that, no one ever goes close. That sounds fun.
<sighs> I'll be right back. Well then, um, I guess I'll get back to work. Got some more right. things to work on. Nice meeting you, and see you around. Oh, really. We've met before, but it's nice to see you. Yes. Well then, on that note, I'm gonna leave. That's an interesting thing, I guess. Don't forget your helmet. Oh yes. Don't want Thanks. Well then, that was interesting, Jackie throwing out a bunch of random terms again. But now the time dilation, that will definitely come to help. I think I'll need to add, change the layout of the teleportation a bit. Uh, these three towers will definitely not suffice. I should be able to make do with these four nodes here, these five nodes. Um, Till the actual date of teleportation home comes. <laughs> yes, they should suffice to pull something through them. Let me just have to recalculate here in the main terminal. Yes, it's been interesting anyway. I think that's going to be the end of this log. This is the 150th day on this world. Tenebris, as I've been told now. Well then, to those in the future that find this, this has been our journey on this world. This is Fiend, signing out once again.